Dear brothers, I am Atama. Continuing our journey, today we will talk about chapter number 2 of Book I of Telos. Many here wonder, why do we say they are Lemurian souls? This planet was inhabited millions of years ago by many civilizations. It was a high fifth dimensional planet. There were seven continents distributed on the planet, including Lemuria and later Atlantis. Lemuria was an immense continent, so we can say that it was the home of many souls who arrived here to populate this planet, souls coming from many places in the universe. These souls lived in Lemuria for millions of years. That's why we can say that they are Lemurian souls, but in fact each one had its own origin when coming here. We were a peaceful people, we lived in high vibrations. The two great civilizations of that time were those of the Lemurian continent and Atlantis. We always noticed that there were imbalances in evolution among the souls that were here, not all of them had the same level, not all of them were highly evolved. Many came here to learn from us how to develop and evolve. So we always believed, we Lemurians, we always believed that our mission was to help them evolve within love and light and that there would be enough time for that. The inhabitants of Atlantis didn't really agree with this, they thought we were wasting time and that we should force them to evolve at any cost. There was a great disagreement between the two continents and a severe war began. I don't need to comment here on what wars do. Yes, we lived this process at that time. And then you may ask us, but you were so evolved, why did you let yourself get involved in this way? It is part of each soul whether or not to believe in full love, or simply to be carried away by ideas of domination, by ideas of enslavement, which had been implanted here. Not all of those beings who came here had a heart full of light. Many began to do their work, work that continues to this day, which is to spread power, spread war, evil. And for many years this all happened. We also had our harvest. We planted war and the result of all that was our sinking, ours and that of Atlantis. The other continents changed over time. When we were aware that this entire process would take place, we asked Father or Mother God for dispensation to choose a place on Earth where we could take shelter and survive the entire process. But to do this we need to prove that we had learned our lesson, that we understood what we had done, and be aware that we could not save everyone, just a few and we received authorization to create Telos, the intraterrestrial city for the Lemurians. We were able to bring a lot of the story back so it wouldn't be lost, but a lot was lost. But the most important thing is still with us and this will all be transmitted to you very soon. The continent sank in a single night, many slept, many went through that moment awake, and a large number of priests stood ready singing the song you know today to bring a little positive vibration and eliminate the load of fear that was installed on everyone. It was a very difficult time and as had been said, not all of us, from our race, from our city, from our continent Lemuria managed to survive. And why not? Because we didn't know for sure when it would happen, and it happened ahead of time. So there was no time for everyone to flee to the shelter, which today we call Telos. The great teaching of this chapter is to make you think about your own individual wars. Many of you think, no, I am not to blame for any war. Maybe not. Who elects your rulers, who puts them in positions of command, who gives them the power to decide for you? So I would say that every human being on this planet has their share of blame in every war that still happens today, in all this violence that you experience today. You accepted this, and you often fuel this war out of hatred, envy, discrimination, the feeling of power. Many today are beginning to re-evaluate their positions and realize the number of mistakes made along the way. But the idea here is not of judgment, it is of forgiveness, and many here have done this work of asking for forgiveness and forgiving, but I can assure each of you that the world you live in today is the product of each and every one of you. There is no denying it, there is no escape, everyone has a share of the blame. And I would say not only from this life, but from past lives. 
but now is no longer the time to look back, judge yourself, judge others, the time now is to clear the path, clean the soul, and that is what we have been doing in the thousands of years that we have been in Telos. We were always aware that one day we would be close to the surface inhabitants again and that we would help them to evolve, to no longer feed those feelings that they always had in the past. We can say that we were and are human as much as you, but we are in a larger dimension and we are fully aware of what it is to live essentially in love and light, without needing anything else, and that is what we are bringing to you, this energy, this moment of union, between these Lemurian souls, who stayed here for so long waiting for this great moment of returning to the surface, of being together with you. The feeling for each one of us who lived that moment is one of pain, for sure but we know that each one who perished at that moment had something already written for it, and that a vast majority today are incarnated in the third dimension, living all that caused, everything they fed and took away from the balance of the planet. So this is not the time for judgment, this is not the time to point out who was to blame, the moment is now of light, the moment is of evolution, and we want to help you in this process. It is a mission we have to help you in this passage to the fifth dimension. So, within what was said in the book, I would like to make an invitation, that at a defined time, all of you will be together, each one in their own time, in their own refuge, but all connected in the same heart, and all of us in the city of Telos will be with you, helping at this moment to eliminate everything that was left in your hearts, of trauma, of pain, of despair, of anger. It will be an unforgettable moment. And I ask everyone to try to clear all negative feelings in their hearts. This is the big lesson here. If everyone clears their heart and becomes a pillar of light you will illuminate this planet. Believe this. Look at a point of light, look at a small lamp, it doesn't just illuminate where it is, it is capable of illuminating a large room, and depending on the light, an even larger place. So be pillars of light and the stronger your pillars are, the more you will illuminate the planet, and be sure that we will be together, helping each one to overcome obstacles and difficulties. Not everyone living on Earth today is Lemurian or Atlantean, many other races are living on the surface, but the Lemurian continent was huge. So I can say that most of the evolved souls on this planet lived in Lemuria, and right now is the right time to come together to meet in the future, in a higher dimension and be able to relieve good times, knowing that those bad times that we all went through and that all the moments that their souls spent in the third dimension were necessary for the evolution, the effective evolution of their souls.